select all the correct answers. The owner of a hotel is in installing a patio around three sides of her pool as shown. It says which statements are true about the expression representing the area of the patio. Well, if we wanted to find the area of the patio here, I'm going to kind of go back and forth with the iPad for a minute. Um, what needs to happen is that we're going to take... I know you can't see it right now, but we're going to take 3P length times width. 2P squared plus 4P minus 6. But if you take a look, that's the area of kind of the pinky, beigey, whatever color you're seeing on your screen, that rectangle. And inside that is a blue rectangle for the pool. And what happens is if we want to find the area of the patio, then what we have to do is we have to subtract out the area of the pool. And the pool is going to be minus 5 times p squared minus 3p plus 2. So once we've got that, then we can figure out all of the possibilities here. So we can distribute and we get 6p cubed, again remember add the exponent, plus 12p squared minus 18p. We're going to distribute here as well. Be careful because there's a negative and it's going to be minus 5p squared plus 15p minus 10. And when we combine like terms, there's nothing like with the 6p cubed, but we have plus 12p minus 5p squared, sorry, 12p squared minus 5p squared is 7p squared. Negative 18p plus 15p is negative 3p, and then we've got the minus 10. So there are answers here, and if we look back up there at the iPad, I think we can see them all. The expression representing the area of the patio is cubic. Well, our highest degree term is to the third power, so yes, that is true. The expression representing the area of the patio has four terms. One, two, three, four. Yes, that's true. The expression representing the area of the patio is a polynomial. Yes, that's true. The expression representing the area of a patio is a trinomial. Well, trinomial, tri means three, so that is untrue. Um, and then finally, the expression representing the area of the patio has a constant term. That is true. The minus 10 is the constant term.